We have previously reviewed the long vowel spellings. These vowel spellings made one sound, the long vowel sound, A, E, I, O, or U. There were different ways to make long vowels, open syllables where we just had one vowel without a consonant following it, vowel digraphs, or vowel consonant E. Today, we're going to review vowel diphthongs. These are vowel teams that make one vowel sound and slide to another vowel sound. We are going to talk about vowel diphthongs that make the sound ow, as in house, and oi, as in boy. You will see on the first side of our notes, you have the ow, as in house, and the oi, as in boy, generalization chart in front of you. If you're looking at the ow, as in house, then you have spellings of ou, Examples are found and ouch. These generalizations happen at the beginning or the middle of syllables. The next one is the OW. This one, these examples are down and powerful. This one will happen at the end of a syllable or at the middle of a syllable if followed by an N or an L. If you're looking at the OI as in boy, the spellings are O-I, as in pointed and oink. These generalizations happen at the beginning or the middle of a syllable. And then we have the O-Y, joyful, which is at the end of a syllable. Just like the spellings last week, I can use the generalizations to guide me in spelling a word. For example, if I want to spell snowplow, I will first break it into syllables, snow, plow. I hear the owl in the second syllable, plow. I hear the owl sound is at the end of the syllable. So I'm going to first write out what I think I know, the snow, plow, kind of leave the ending blank and we'll see if we can figure it out. I can use the generalizations to guide me in spelling the owl sound. I'm going to look at the common spellings that come at the end of the syllable owl. I'll try both options to see if one looks familiar. I can tell that the first spelling is correct. It looks really familiar and follows the generalization. Let's do another one. Let's try avoiding. I will first break it into syllables, a, uh, void, in. I hear the oi in the second syllable, void. I hear that the oi sound is in the middle of the syllable. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the pieces in, this, in the syllable breakings with the middle empty. And then I can use the generalizations to guide me in spelling the oi sound. I'm going to look at the common spellings that come in the middle of the syllable, oi. I'm going to try both the options to see which one looks familiar. I can tell that the first spelling is correct. It looks really familiar and it follows the generalization. Now it is your turn. Go back to your Canvas assignment and you are going to click on the article to complete the table. The instructions are on your paper. Make sure that you are following the instructions and then go ahead and glue it in your journal and make sure that you are listing it on your table of contents. Once you and your table group has done an amazing job with your conversation, go ahead and glue the notes in your journal. And remember, a strip of glue will do, and a page a day is all it takes.